You would think that with how much I've rewired my brain, that it wouldn't miss something as simple as the background of a level complete screen. But as per usual, as soon as I noticed it, I promptly abandoned the game forever in pursuit of recreating such an effect for myself. Now I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to repeatable patterns, just enough to know that if you put half a star on the top and left, and the opposite halves on the bottom and right, you've got a pretty good starter kit. If you slap it in a div with a small background size, it'll automatically repeat itself and then you can pan it from left to right over a few minutes. Let's pick out a couple RGBs and throw them in a gradient. We want this gradient to sit neatly behind our stars, so we'll place it in a parent container, and we also want our stars to seem as though they're appearing and disappearing into the edges. So why don't we make a new gradient that's transparent in the center and position it absolutely on top? I have precisely zero interest in storing the knowledge required to produce a diagonally striped linear gradient pattern in my brain. But funny enough, we can animate the position of this little pattern across the entire width of its container. And much like our stars, since the default behavior is for it to repeat itself, the combination of hundreds of these little squares moving in sync with one another gives the appearance of one singular pattern. That leaves us with the final problem of constructing a sawtooth edge. I'm once again aware of a potential solution, but I would definitely struggle with the specifics. Hmm. It would appear I'm not the only one. Maybe a little fine-tuning is in order. Now what do we put on top? More moving patterns? A fancy mouse? I don't know. Why don't I just leave that part up to you?